Fix Studios was founded in 2007-2008 in Berlin. It was originally conceived as a kind of collaborative project between Fiona and myself. Fiona was coming from a background of fashion and I was coming from a background of fine arts. And we made our first collection in 2009 when we moved to Hong Kong. How do be quite sustainable with our fabrics? Because we do everything in-house, we can monitor the cutting and so there's minimal wastage. And but sometimes after the production there might be like 10 or 20 meters left of another roll of fabric, maybe a really beautiful Japanese wool or silk. So what we've recently started doing is shredding the fabric to small strips and then reweaving them into these kind of rag rugs. So then we make these really nice custom fabrics and then reuses all the scraps. This is a really effective way we've found to completely minimise the wastage of fabric and it also becomes like a really interesting concept or texture within the collection. For the Lane Crawford exclusive capsule collection, the idea was to do a kind of line of elevated unisex basics. You know, it's, you can wear like a, uh, like a really nice men's kind of pullover and it's a little bit oversized for the woman or um, there's a lot of mix and match pieces and the colour palette's really nice, navy, black and white, so it's very neutral and really nice fabrics so are just cotton, cotton tensile, so it's very comfortable and a really nice homely collection. It's a really nice community here in Wutong Mountain where we have our studio. Everyone lives in Wutong Mountain Village. Our staff live here in the mountain too, in the village, and then their family can live with them and then the kids go to school here. It's a really nice lifestyle for them too and we kind of all take care of each other and everyone that works here is a friend of a friend, a husband and wife or two brothers. You know, it's quite a nice feeling here. One of our longest uh, staff members is Mr. Lai, who's our pattern maker. And his claim to fame, apart from his exceptionally good skin, which he takes a lot of attention to, is that he used to look like a Hong Kong movie star from the 80s when he was younger. And yeah, he often pulls out the photo and, and actually he does look like uh, a Hong Kong movie star. The other uh, staff member that's been with us for quite a long time is Big Brother. He's actually the elder brother of another one of the machinists here and he's also the oldest and the most experienced uh, member of our team. So he's the go-to man for any problems with sewing or finishing or technical problems. And he just has an incredibly positive attitude and outlook. He's really fun to have around the studio. I think he's what everyone aspires to be like.